Well, they'll let me just get on the stream <laughs> so I know what's going on. Hi. I'll just wait for a few more people to come in. Can you all hear me okay? <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Oh yeah, my cardigan. It's the same one I wore in the Kuro Neko video. The commentary. <laughs> oh god, you can hear me. It's really warm here today in the UK. So sorry if my face looks a bit shiny. It's really warm. Oh, thank you. Saying I look gorgeous. Oh, you were bored. <laughs> Yeah, if you're in the UK today, it's really warm. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So what are we, oh, hi Lolo, what are we doing today? Today is a strike back therapy session after the episode. So before the episode we had a panic party, now we're going to be having a calm down. Honestly it feels weird. It feels like it's been like three weeks since strike back, it doesn't feel like it's been a week. I don't know. Oh yeah, you're in Birmingham, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's really warm here, everywhere in the country. It's really warm. Yeah, it's only been one week, Ahmed. It's so weird. It feels like it's been a lot longer. I don't know, it just feels really weird. Edward, there are loads of things too long. Season 5 release date. Well, everyone keeps saying it's meant to be... July. I heard it was November though. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it feels like Strike Back aired a while ago. It doesn't feel like it's only been like a week. Right? Oh, it feels like it's been a while. It, it hasn't though. So yeah. Oh, Glee was released in the first episode in July. Oh, okay. It's gonna be busy then. I thought it was gonna be a lot later actually, but I'm happy about that. <laughs> How am I feeling? Um, I feel okay, but I think that's because it hasn't properly sunk in yet. I don't know, it just feels... I know, I guess in terms of Gabriel having the Miraculouses, I'm not that worried. Because I know she'll get them back. So I'm not that worried about her. I'm more worried about how she's going to be like mentally plus where all the relationships are gonna go so yeah july the 5th is a date right now oh okay <laughs> good to know <laughs> probably change i guess oh i'm really oh, like i don't want it to start yet i need time to sink in speaking of which okay so from next week i'm gonna start posting season five theory videos um however so there's still like a lot of content that I was planning to do around Penal Team, around all the superhero outfits. Plus as well now we have Felix's outfit and Marinette's new outfit with the horse and rabbit miraculous. I usually do a video dissecting them, right? So my plan was to do every other week a season five theory and then the weeks in between like an outfit video. Does that sound good to all of you? I don't mind. I'm gonna do them all eventually, but does that sound good to the rest of you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you need my riffs on the fashion choices. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm, I'm in disbelief season four is over, to be honest, as well. <laughs> I hope there's going to be some Lady Noir. What I'm thinking is going to happen is obviously Marinette's not going to have time for anything other than trying to get the Miraculouses back. Um, hi Alice! Um, other than getting the miraculous is back, so she's going to be spending a lot of time with Catmore and with Alia. I am assuming at some point she's going to properly tell him that Alia knows her identity and the three of them are going to work together but also Ladybug and Catmore because Alia can't use a miraculous anymore um, and she can't use another miraculous obviously because she doesn't have any. Um, and as a result she's going to start pulling away from Adrian and honestly in my opinion Adrian did kind of fall for in this season with Mr. Pigeon 72 and other things going on I feel like he definitely did fall for her but she's gonna like she's not gonna be able to trust him so I think at that point Adrian's gonna be like do you know, like you don't realize how much you miss someone's absence until they're away for example I didn't realize how much I miss just Lady Noir episodes until we got to the end of Strike Back and find out it's just gonna be them next season I didn't realize how much I missed it so I feel like Adrian's not gonna realize how much he misses being around Marinette and the love square will start to reverse. Ladybug spends, starts to spend more time around Cat Noir, she starts to fall for him but then Cat Noir at this point is like I can't trust you so he starts to pull away from her but then in real life Adrian is realising that um he actually does like Marinette but she's spending less time around with him because she doesn't have time and because of the trauma of what happened in Strike Back. But I do feel like the um, the charms could play into it and that he'll start like wearing his charm like I don't know, tied on his jeans or whatever or he'll bring it out all the time to prove to her like hey it's me it's not Felix you know that's what I think is gonna happen because as we all know like so if you'd heard on Twitter Thomas Astruck has finished working for the show now so he's he's still the creator of the show but he's no longer writing or directing the show anymore which is quite a normal thing to happen um, so it seems that season five is the end of the original arc that they'd initially planned. Um, so I'm assuming the reveal happens then in season five and then season six and seven is when we get the new Hawkmoth and stuff. Um, and I'm also pretty sure season six is when we'll get them aged up so that we have all the Alex and Time Tiger. I think that's gonna happen. Hopefully. I can't wait to see the new outfits. <laughs> You're not a fan of Adrienette because it's creepy and they keep shoving their made for each other over and over again. Well, I mean, they are kind of made for each other. I'm not really sure how it's creepy though. What are my theories on the Brazil special? Absolutely none. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have no idea about the Brazil special. I'm sure it'll be good, but I don't know. I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of miraculous involved. I mean, we had the American miracle box in the New York special and then we had the prodigious in the Shanghai special so I would assume a um, Brazilian miracle box maybe I don't know I guess not I mean it doesn't really seem from what I've seen for the London specialties images because I'm British that's one I care about more <laughs> um, it doesn't seem that um, Miss Rose I think she's called is getting one where is Kit Kat? Kit Kat is outside sleeping, but I'll bring her in later if you want me to. <laughs> Does Adrian's fan club really exist in Brazil? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Emily is better off dead than seeing her husband using the bee miraculous wires who doesn't have a fabulous hair comb in. I'm really excited to actually see all the miraculous I'm looking forward to it. Are you still traumatised? I think so. I think that's the reason why it hasn't sunk in yet. Like, because like it was a really good finale and it was quite, I mean I got emotional during it. And I've accepted the fact that it's over but it doesn't feel like it's over. So maybe it is the trauma. <laughs> I don't know. Do I think Marinette will get acclimatised? Yeah, probably one day. Definitely. Like, season five finale, I think she'd get acclimatised. That's what I'm betting. Yes, the real Volpina, that's what I think happens. Um, 
what I think is going to happen for the most part. The problem with a lot of the Miraculous is they can't really be used long distance. I mean, some of them you can, so Butterfly and Peacock, I mean, Peacock's out of the picture now, but you can use the Butterfly from a distance. You could probably use the Fox from quite a distance as well. But other than that, the majority of the Miraculouses, you do need to be like in close proximity to use them. For example, the Bee Miraculous, you have to be able to touch someone to use it. So it does, I feel right now that Chloe and Lila are gonna be like his team and that he will maybe, to some Akuma villains, not all, he will give them a Miraculous to help them, I think. So I think it's gonna happen. But I feel like the last Miraculous they'll get is probably the rabbit or the snake, since they're the most powerful. And then with Bee and Fox right at the end as well. You wanna see the teddy by my bed? That teddy? One down there? <laughs> that one, Germana? <laughs> I don't know why she asked that. Yeah, I feel like I am still in shock. So... <laughs> Oh yeah, I've got plenty of new names to have to daddy. If he wants to... <laughs> so you do want to see it to me. I am ready and waiting for Gabriel to use the Snake Miraculous so he can become second chance daddy. This one? Uh, I've had this teddy since I was a baby. I've kept it by my bed. This one, Germana? <laughs> He doesn't really have a name. You can name him if you like. I've had him since I was a baby. So. <laughs> Let's keep him here. Uh, what about the Senti Monster theory? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. One of the ambassadors did confirm it on Twitter, but... To me, I'm still in denial until we see it in the show. To be honest. <laughs> Thank you, Ruff Angel. <laughs> Would he necessarily win though if he did use the right Miraculous to travel back in time? I mean, he can't just travel back in time to bring Emily back to life because assuming Adrian is a sentient monster, then the reason Emily is ill because she created him with a broken Peacock Miraculous and he, he stayed alive, which is what made her ill. So, um, if he, Adrian really is a sentient monster, then there's no point Gabriel going back in time to revive Emily because he can't do anything unless he's planning to kill Adrian basically so however that being said he can like I feel like if Shadow Moth felt like he had a really good idea but Ladybug and Cat Noir still foiled him he might go back in time and do it slightly differently I don't know I don't know let's put the teddy down <laughs> Uh, technically couldn't Hawkmoth just force Sass to go back in time to when Emily is alive and get Sass to tell Gary how to save her? I mean, I don't know. I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm just kind of like, why didn't Gabriel akumatize Emily into um, a doctor who can cure anything? And be sorted. I don't... I don't know. You want me to call the teddy bear Bear Noir? Why? He's brown, not black. <laughs> Gave Pappy instead of Daddy because in French he is Pappy Leon. <laughs> Tell you what, the rest of you can just name the teddy. I've never named him. I don't know why, but yeah. How do I feel about season five? I'm actually really excited for it. I can't wait. I felt like there were so many possibilities leaving off like there were so many possibilities that left open in Risk and Strike Back that weren't explored. But not just that, just other possibilities from the season as a whole. For example, Luca. There's been no follow-up with Luca yet from Wishmaker. So something's definitely going to happen next season with him, I'm pretty sure. So there was so much left open and so many exciting things left open that I'm really excited for it. Do I think when the Bee Miraculous episode rolls around, Chloe could be redeemed? Yeah, I think she would. In my- <laughs> thank you for saying I look beautiful. Um, so what I think is going to happen is that her and Lila are going to work together with Gabriel, 
but Chloe, as mad as she seems as Ladybug, in Soul Crusher and Psycho Medium when we saw her in Chloe's bedroom, she still has the Ladybug pillow on her bed. And at first when I mentioned to everyone was like, oh, that could have just been something they forgot to take out. Okay, yeah, fair enough. However, at the end of Strike Back, she is looking pretty shocked at what's going on with Hawk Moth. So I feel like Chloe is going to work with them for a bit and then like right at the end of the season, like season five finale, she's going to decide to double cross Hawk Moth in order to work with Ladybug. I think so. a bit surprised as well that all of Paris did support them however I feel like there will be some like for example I think I said it in my strike back commentary uh, there will be some people if um, who who won't be happy with them because the city's gonna be in so much more danger you know what I mean so I feel like I'm happy that most of the city is on their side but um, I feel like not everyone will be. For example, I could see in class Lila and Chloe taking digs at Ladybug saying, oh, she's useless, she's rubbish, she lost all those miraculous and stuff like that. And maybe some other disgruntled people will definitely also be upset with them, I think. Oh, the last scene of Strike Crack made you cry. It was a lovely scene. It didn't make me cry. The super scene to me was just so upsetting because of how much that scene means to me. I absolutely love the season two finale the season two finale i feel like i prefer the plot of the season four finale to the season two finale there's a lot more to it i really like it um but that scene in the season two finale one of my favorite favorite scenes from the whole show so i was pretty distraught <laughs> by it do i think queen bill b will be back yes definitely hey so did you know cat blank was originally planned for season two but it was pushed back to season three because it was claimed too dark and too sad yeah, I can understand that. I didn't know that, but I can understand that. Imagine if they do the sewer scene again, but with Lila and Chloe. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. It's, the reason I hated it so much is because they replaced Adrian with Felix. If it's too, like, for example, if Alia and Nino did a sewer scene, I'd be fine with that because it's two different people. It's because they had replaced one of them, not both of them, just one of them. So, mm, yeah. <laughs> I hate how people are saying that Ladybug is weak and she should have won, yet they're the same people who think she deserved to lose. I don't think Ladybug's weak in any way. She's amazing. I guess this season just highlighted to her her mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes, I'm not, I don't hate her for it. Her mistakes with not trusting Cat Noir, which I guess is kind of part of the reason she did lose, in a way, kind of, but also due to her love for Adrian. Sorry about my squeaky chair. <laughs> Miss Bustier's pregnancy, look, with the time in Miraculous, I think it is fairly feasible that she wouldn't have started showing yet, but I also would have expected someone to mention it. However, at the same time, it also seems like they don't plan on referencing events of the specials, and they just don't seem to. I don't know why. Sorry, I'm really tired. It's really sunny today. It's maybe really sleepy. I haven't even done that much work today. Well, I made the screaming session. The screaming session's already done. And I also filmed next Saturday's video. So yeah. Oh, since more of you are here now, I wanted to ask again. So um, I've pretty much got all like, so Monday's screaming sessions sorted. Saturday's longer videos. I'm in the process of sorting them. But on Thursdays, I usually do a shorter voiceover video. So on Thursday, um, I'm hoping to start doing from this Thursday anyway some um, season five theory videos. I've got tons of ideas. However, I also want to do a load of outfit videos, which I didn't get a chance to do because of the way Risk and Strike Back aired. From Penalty, we also have Felix's new outfit and Ladybug's new outfit from Strike Back that I want to do videos on. So, do you want like a load of season five videos first and then the outfit videos, or this is what I was planning to do? every other week to have a season five theory and then the weeks in between to have outfit videos does that sound good to you all <laughs> i 
follow my heart. <laughs> yeah, this sounds good. Well, just because I don't, like, if I do all the season 5 fit theory videos together, you might get sick of it. And then I do all the outfit videos together, you get sick of it. So I was like, do them. Every other video, basically. So, and also the other thing I wanted to ask. This is probably going to be the last live stream until the season starts because there isn't going to be much to discuss until like we get a trailer really for the first episode so what were your thoughts on that would you want me to do a live stream between now and then or not i don't know <laughs> like what will we talk about i don't know so what are your opinions on that <laughs> Yeah, I think I do a stream before the first episode airs, but assuming the first episode is airing on the 5th of July. We're probably, like, I'm still going to do other videos. Like, I'm not planning on doing a live stream every single week. The only reason um, there are two streams so close together is because of Strike Back. One before and one for after. Um, but between now and the season starting... The next season starting i'm probably not going to do another live stream so is that all okay with you if i don't do another one until july or not like i'm still gonna be doing other videos don't worry you're still gonna see me just won't be live yeah i think felix would be in the london special definitely How do I feel like Felix will use the Peacock Miraculous? Honestly, I feel like Felix is just gonna protect it. I don't feel like he's gonna make any senti monsters. I think he's just gonna chill with Dusu. You know what I mean? I think he's just gonna chill with Dusu and be happy in the knowledge that Ladybug isn't gonna kill any senti monsters because to him, he's like, she's a murderer. <laughs> After the way he acted in Strike Back, he obviously doesn't like Ladybug. Um, so yeah. What's my favourite episode or ever so far? Uh, I'm not sure so far, I'd have to rewatch them all to let you know properly. But I would say right now, the episode I rewatch the most just because of how much I enjoy it is Party Crasher. <laughs> I know it's not the best written episode to be honest, I don't particularly think Kim has the best debut as king monkey in that episode but i find it a really fun episode so i like it for that reason i use that one a lot but i'm not sure if it is actually my favorite i feel like the best written episode is probably cat blank that's just an amazing one so yeah i don't feel like felix will abuse jusu at all um i feel like he's just like let's just chill together let's hang out you can go to school with me assuming he goes to school with her so have i seen the miraculous office au no but i know it exists and Look, I love The Office, I want to watch it, however, it's Marinette and Felix, and I already didn't like Felix, and now I have a burning hatred for Felix, so I cannot force myself to watch it. I'm sorry, like, for me, I pretty- I very rarely- when I ship two characters together, I very rarely ship them with someone else, so I am, like, hardcore Marinette and Adrian. Even if Felix looks the same, I'm like, no, I'm sorry, he's not Adrian. No. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Who do we hate more now, Lila or Felix? Um... I, I mean, they're both horrible. At least I understand most of the reasons why Felix is acting the way he does. Uh, this is why I don't have that much of... A problem with Chloe anymore because I understand the way she acts that way. I don't have a clue why Lila acts that way. <laughs> when do you think Alex will find out Ladybug's identity? Probably this season. Yeah, I feel like a lot of things are going to come to my head this season, to be honest. So. <laughs> yeah, like I said, Felix has a reason where Lila's literally just a psychopath edward uh not one to point out spelling mistakes because you know i can't spell but you spelled psychopath wrong <laughs> edward always points out my spelling mistakes on discord <laughs> 
Yes, I'd love to know how the Peacock da mattress was damaged and also um, Emily in general. I just want one on her, so. Why do you think Lila went when Natalie started coughing on the train? Well, I was a bit concerned about this. At first I thought, I think she's gonna be fine. I'm not that worried about Natalie. Um, but I felt that maybe Felix had taken her ring but then what if Lila took it and Felix gave Gabriel a dupe for it or really because I'm like why would Felix give back the ring because just because you have the peacock miraculous all it means is that Gabriel can't destroy you but if he has your ring you're a muck that means um he can control you right however Sorry, yeah, I'm just putting this right So it wouldn't make sense for Felix, <laughs> sorry Edward, it wouldn't make sense for Felix to give his amok to Gabriel. Um, so I feel like part of me, like 50% of me is like Felix stole the ring from Natalie, because remember she puts her hand over his. Uh, I feel like he could have stolen it from her and he's actually just given back to Gabriel. Uh, Adrian's amok, which I guess we will see. Um, probably in the first episode. I'm assuming it's going to pick up right where it left off because of the event. I feel like it's going to pick off right up with Suhan coming to see them and also um, Natalie returning home uh, without Adrian. <laughs> um, however, I think the other possibility is that maybe Lila might have taken the ring, which is far scarier. Like, I mean, Gabriel has had Adrian's amok the whole time. Whilst that's not great, I'm not that worried. However, can you imagine if Lila has Adrian's amok and she doesn't even know what it is? And she's, oh, that would be hell. I hope Felix took it. But I'm also worried in case Lila took it. So yeah. Yeah, the Peacock Miraculous alone can't control a sentient monster. You need the amok to control them. You don't need the Miraculous to control them. Yeah, I am still traumatised about the sewer scene from Strike Back. I filmed a video today for next Saturday, but you will see just how traumatised I am. Because, oh. It's killing me inside, so they, oh, I have some news though. It just reminded me when I was reading the chat. Um, I have finished the next chapter of My Lady. I don't know when it's going up though, because the art hasn't been finished yet. So, I don't know. <laughs> I think the only time the art finished before the chapter was for the first chapter. Uh, the art was done first and then I finished the chapter like a couple of days later. But um, this time I'm done first. So I don't know when it'll be posted, I'm sorry. Hopefully in a couple of weeks. But I don't know. Oh no, Grace. Grace is my artist. I don't think she hasn't said anything in the chat if she's in here. So I don't actually know if she's in here. I doubt she is because she's always super busy. Hence why it takes for a while. But um, yeah. It's going to be a long chapter. I haven't recorded the audio for it, however. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the last chapter was literally just an hour. This one is 4,000 words longer. So it's going to be longer than an hour. <laughs> I haven't recorded it yet, though. I think last time it actually took me um an hour and a half to record the last chapter because I make so many mistakes and because it was so long my voice was starting to hurt I had to take breaks and stuff like that so um I haven't recorded it yet oh boy is that another teddy yeah Jemena look I, this is one's in my video I don't know I've had this teddy since I was 10 years old this teddy is 15 years old haven't you noticed when Bark says to Felix and Finale, I finally have a new owner. <laughs> Did Bark forget about Sabrina? I thought so. <laughs> I found that part funny. I was like, oh, you just forgot about it. Actually, so this Teddy, um, on the last, so in the UK, you finish primary school when you're 10, 11 years old. Um, and this girl who I was friends with for the whole of school gave me this Teddy to say goodbye to me. And I've never seen her again. Yay. <laughs> I actually have a lot of teddies, you just don't usually see them. Yeah. Is this the last chapter? Yes, it's going to be the last chapter of My Lady. 
but I have other audio fix, um, other audio fic ideas. So the two I'm probably gonna do this year is one of um, just like a one shot, just a single chapter of um, Adrian teaching Marinette some Mandarin. As he says at the end of the Shanghai special, he's like, "Hey, I could teach you some Mandarin." And then he never does. And I can speak a bit of Mandarin, like very basic introduction, begin at like how to say hello, my name is, I'm a student, I'm from England. Very basic stuff. Like I can tell the time in Mandarin, that's as like as advanced as I've got. So I feel like a really cute, just like a one chapter, nice and cute where he teaches Marinette Mandarin. And then I wanna do one at Christmas, that's like um, a secret Santa. So if you don't know what secret Santa is, because I don't think everyone does it in all countries, it's usually done with a big group of people, usually, a classroom or like an office where you put everyone's name in a hat and you'll pick out a name and you have to keep it a secret but you've got to buy them a present you th they think you're gonna like so um Adrian and Marinette are obviously gonna get the other person so um that's all I've got planned obviously that would be <laughs> that would be um at Christmas so I'll probably do the Mandarin one first then I think I mentioned this a bit in my last stream the next fic I have planned is going to be, I don't want to say how long because I don't know how long it'll be. Um, yeah, it's Hell's Moving Castle. Um, I don't want to say how long, but um, it's going to be because I haven't planned it yet. But it's going to be a really dark fan fiction that's kind of based on Batman. So, well, Batman's not going to be in it. But basically the premise of the fic is that growing up in Paris things are okay but eventually things start to get dark there becomes a lot of crime in the city and Master Fu who's just like a regular guy is like we need some people to protect the city and he would do it but he's a bit too old however he trains up some teenagers to do it and it's gonna be Marina, Adrian, Alia and Nino um, and by the time the fix starts, several years have passed and crime in Paris is just completely out of hand. All the police are really corrupt, um, but there's going to be no Miraculouses in it. There's going to be no magic in it. So there's going to be no Kwamis or Tiki and Plague or anything like that. No magical jewellery. The Akumas are going to be a drug instead of a magical butterfly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it's going to be a lot darker. I am going to kill some of the characters. Some of the characters will get hurt pretty badly. I'm not intending this to be a fun fig. Like, I like writing nice and cute stuff. However, I am much better at writing things that are a lot darker. So, yeah. If you've read my novel, because I know some of you have, that's, I mean, it's not that dark, but it's darker than my lady. Like, it's still gonna be cute moments in it, because I love cute moments, but yeah. Yeah, Chris is 100% going to die. Uh, when do you think the reveal, remember, will happen? End of season five. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Hi, Ellen Pana. What do you think a Marinette focus episode could focus on? That's a really good question. I genuinely feel like this next season is going to be less focused on the romance. There's still going to be some look at it, um, but less focus on it because of the miraculouses, but also like a focus of her rebuilding a relationship with Cat Noir, you know? So I'm hoping she's gonna grow out of it because she's not gonna have time to obsess over Adrian, so I'm hoping she's gonna grow out of it. <laughs> but who knows? Yes, Adrian needs to know about Cat Blanc. They need to talk to each other about a lot. The only secret Adrian has really been keeping from Ladybug is that he knows that Rena Rouge and Carapace knew about each other. That seems to be it. Um, but obviously Marinette's been keeping a lot from him. Um, there are some things that obviously need to be kept secret. For example, the location of the Miracle Box, he can't know about that. Um, but he definitely needs to know about Cat Blank and about her telling Alia her identity as well. So, yeah. Do I think Miraculous will end at season 7 slash 8 or do you think there'll be more seasons? I don't know, however, Jeremy Zag keeps hinting at there being spin-off shows for um, Faye from the Shanghai special and Jess and Aeon from the New York special and I'd love to see those. So yeah, which shit will be mostly be shown in My Lady Chapter 4? Um, it's a good split between Mary Shat and Adrianette, so uh, yeah.
Yes, exactly. Like, exactly. Like, they have to... I really feel like they have to talk about Cat Blank this next season. Because they kept teasing it, like you said. So, yeah. Why do I hate Chris? Because he's annoying, right? I have three brothers. Chris is exactly like all three of my brothers combined. Of course I hate Chris. Hayes, so we should write an episode. The writers don't want to give it us. It'll be an episode the whole fandom wants, like, Katamari dating and reveal in a live stream. Well, that'd be a cool idea for a live stream. I'd have to work out how to share my screen on a live stream. <laughs> what do you mean you have to leave and go to the zoo as if that's a really sad thing? Getting to leave to go to the zoo is amazing. How fun at the zoo, Bestie. <laughs> Do you reckon we are in for Princess Justice during season five? I hope so. I hope so. I really love to see as well um, Verity Queen just because I was so disappointed in the way Chilin went. I didn't think it was a good episode. So I really hope we get Verity Queen. Because like I've been waiting so long <laughs> just for Sabine to get akumatized and then we get Chilin. And it wasn't that great. <laughs> yeah, I think Marinette will be the last Akuma victim. I agree, Ahmed. Thank you. Yeah, Chilin was just a weird episode. It wasn't very well written, and when I watched the episode, I wasn't sure if it was meant to be about racism. Turns out it was confirmed much later that it was meant to be about racism. I'm also really happy they tackled that in the show. I've seen a lot, obviously I'm white, but um, I've seen a lot of people of colour who watch the show. Some are saying they really enjoyed the way it was depicted. Some saying they really didn't enjoy the way it was depicted. So I guess it's really up to them, but I feel like, you know, the way a kid's show is, you have to have consequences for the characters in order for them to learn racism. Like, you know, like, you need to... What did I say to learn racism? What am I talking about? In order to learn consequences... <laughs> I'm an idiot. In order to learn consequences, obviously here they needed to learn about the consequences of treating people that way and being racist. However, they treated Sabine that way, but they still had to pay the fine. Like, all to me, what I felt that message sent in Sheelan was that you get to treat people that way. And they still have to, you know what I mean? Like, I feel they shouldn't have had to pay the fine. You know? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I was just so annoyed with it. Yeah, her outfit was beautiful. Chilin's outfit was amazing. One of my favorite Akuma designs from the season, one of the new ones. And like, it was an okay episode, but in terms of the message it was trying to send, I just felt like it fell really flat because he still had to pay the fine. Yeah. What do I want to happen to most in season five? An identity reveal. And also for Ladybug to finally tell Cat Noir about Cat Blank and about her telling her identity to someone else because I can't last much longer. <laughs> do I think Luca could be akumatized next season? Maybe. I don't know. That could be fun. I mean, be a disaster. <laughs> you think Ladybug will be akumatized and Cat Noir would have to save her? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, the Chilin's message wasn't great. I mean, animation quality doesn't usually bother me. I can usually get by with bad animation because I usually don't notice. However, I did notice with Chilin. So you got a bit of a problem if I can notice I have bad eyesight and I don't know anything about animation so if I see there's a problem with the animation then you are in trouble <laughs> so the animation wasn't great and I just didn't feel the message was very good so yeah do you think Ali will know about Lila's lies look Alia she seems to be a great friend to Ladybug but she isn't that great a friend to Marinette even now knowing her identity I really <sighs> Ali's motives confuse me if I'm being honest they confuse me. <laughs> yes, also, yeah, that's a good point. Um, Chilin for um, France got censored, the part where... So I think it um, in Chilin, Sabine gets off the bus and Roger's there. 
Um, and then it just cuts to Marinette trying to find a mum, but her mum's already been acoumatised. They cut it out. And I think Thomas talks about it. It wasn't Thomas's decision. It wasn't up to him. Um, I think it was TF1's decision, uh, the people who air the episodes. Um, they basically were like, we want children to be able to trust the police. And this episode would not do that. However, I also feel like it's important for children to know they may not always be able to trust the police, you know? So, I don't know. I don't have children, so <laughs> maybe I'm incorrect. So, yeah. The princess just is an ephemeral against all the heroes. That would be a nightmare. A literal nightmare. Why isn't this piece of hair spinning back? Okay. Oh god, that looks awful. <laughs> Do I think Emily will be back in season five? I'm hoping at the very least we get a flashback of her. I remember hearing from Ezra, the um, voice director for the English dub, so they've already cast a voice for Emily, but that could just be for a flashback and not necessarily mean she's back to life. So, yeah. I mean, I would love a flashback though. I'd love to see what life was like in that house when Emily was alive, because I don't particularly think she was that great either. But you gotta remember, she also advocated for Adrian staying locked away as well. Which I don't really get, because if Adrian is a sentient monster, why... Why would they keep him locked away? Because he'd be safe. You have his amok, nothing can happen to him. As long as you have his amok, he's safe. So why was he kept inside all that time? I don't understand. So yeah. What would you rate the overall show out of 1 to 10? The whole show! Well, season one is a bit of a letdown, if I'm being honest, so <laughs> season one would bring the score down. Um, I don't know. Six and a half. I don't know. I try and just... It's a fun show. <laughs> I don't want to be too critical of it. I hope they confirm the senti monster theory on screen. Because until they do, I'm going to be forever in denial about it. I, I don't believe the sentimental theory is true until Gabriel says, Hey, Adrian, can't do this. You're a sentimental monster. And starts twisty twisting his ring. You know? <laughs> do you think any of the characters will ever die? And if so, which one? Yes, Emily. And that'd be the only one. Uh, they have been tackling death more in kids shows just in recent years. So I think it's more likely to happen. Um, however the us as an audience we don't have an emotional connection to emily so there's not going to be like loads and loads of children extremely um upset if emily dies because we've only seen her like move around once in um some scenes from solitude other than that we've just seen her in pictures and heard her talked about so there aren't going to be any like kids upset about emily dying and I'm not going to be upset about Emily dying either. I would never watch the show again if Adrian died. If he dies, I'm, I'm done. I don't want to watch it without Adrian. So yeah. <laughs> Very random, but I'm writing a Miraculous Ladybug rewrite. I wanted to ask, how do you think I should start off? Should I introduce the Miraculous backstory first or Marinette first? My advice to you when you're writing something is to start as late as possible during the story. For example, at the end of My Lady, I was going to start it, I was sorry, I was going to have the end go a lot further, but I was like, no, the story's finished, we don't need to go further than this. Let's end it now. We're going to end as early as possible, and also we start as late as possible. So at the start of My Lady, they're in the storage container, and Adrian opens his eyes. I could have started that a bit further back at the start of the Akuma attack with Dark Owl. I could have started it even further back than then, the start of the school day, of the day Dark Owl happens. But I don't. I start it right in the container where he opens his eyes. That's where the story begins. So if you're doing a rewrite, obviously it's hard for me to tell because I don't know what else you've got planned. But start wherever your story is going to start. We can learn about the backstory of the Miraculouses further on, perhaps when Marinette goes to see Master Fu. And you got to think, us as a reader, we already know about the background of the Miraculouses, so we don't need to know it right away. So it's really up to you, but my advice would be to start as late as possible. Where does the story start? Ask yourself that and begin there. If that made sense. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
When is the Awakening movie coming out? I don't know anymore. <laughs> don't know. I was hoping it would be this summer because I was like, if it gets released in France, I am totally going on holiday to France to go to the cinema. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I will take you all to France with me. I will make a vlog of me in France and I will go to the cinema. So yeah. What other TV shows do I watch? Um, I don't have a lot of time. I'm currently watching Ozark with my mum, but um, if you're not over the age of 18, you 100% should not watch Ozark. I'm also watching Bridgerton by myself. And again, if you're not over the age of 18, you also should not be watching Bridgerton either. <laughs> um, I want to start watching Dairy Girls. That looks fun. And also a lot of you keep asking me to watch Amphibia and The Owl House. And I will get round to it, okay? I'll, I'll have more time now, since now the season's over. Do I miss saying Shadow Daddy? Yeah, I'm gonna miss saying Shadow Daddy, but don't worry, I've got plenty of nicknames for him. Gonna have Mirage Daddy, Venom Daddy, Second Chance Daddy. Pull out the red carpet for Second Chance Daddy. Clout Daddy. Uh, what else? What other? Shelter Daddy. I'm gonna have so much fun. I can't wait actually. Do you think Luca will get akumatized? Yeah, probably. Daddy Tiger. Oh, thank you, Faith. I'm good. Today's been a really nice day. It's really nice here in the UK. Why are you in love with a kid's show? Mate, I ask myself that every single day. I don't know the answer. I don't know. One of my friends suggested the show to me. She was like, I think you might like the show. And I was bored so I started watching it and the first episode on UK Netflix Miraculous is The Bubbler and I nearly stopped watching it because it was awful. Like The Bubbler isn't a bad episode, don't get me wrong, but it's not the episode you want to start the show on. So um, I'm actually going to take my hair down because it's annoying me now. It's not the show you want to start on, you know what I mean? Um, so I didn't really enjoy it. I nearly stopped watching it at that point <laughs> so it wouldn't be here now if I did. At least start watching it, but I was like, oh, I'm bored. Let's carry on. Um, and it got better, hence why we're here now. Um, it's just the way season one is, although I don't know why they were, weren't in the right order. Like, the first two episodes of Stormy Weather and Eve Illustrator. What is my age? I am 25, bestie. Far too old to be watching this show. Have I watched Stranger Things? Yes, I have watched Stranger Things. Why do you think they needed the kitchen scene in the Egress Mansion so much? I really don't know, but I'm also like confused. Is Gabriel gonna cook something? Is he gonna wear an apron? I'd love to see that. Please. I wanna see that. <laughs> do you think you'll see Scarabella again? Nah, I doubt it. I feel like Scarabella and Mr. Bug were a one episode thing. I think it'll be Ladybug from now on. Cooking daddy, apron daddy, kitchen daddy, chef daddy. He's gonna be fabulous. <laughs> like, well, I mean, I'm assuming they want the kitchen scene because he's gonna cook something. I, for whatever reason, I just don't really imagine that Adrian really knows how to cook. So yeah. Have I watched Friends? No, I haven't seen Friends. So I know what it is though. Imagine, right, let's not call Adrian's bodyguard the gorilla. His name is Maurice, and if you don't want to call him Maurice, at least just say the bodyguard. Let's be a bit nicer. You wouldn't like it if someone called you by an animal. Let's at least say the bodyguard, and if not, Maurice, instead of the gorilla. And maybe he could be cooking, I don't know. Oh my god, yes. Chef Daddy cooking something for Natalie because she's ill. If that's what happens. My life will be complete. I could die happily. Done. I'll be done. I'll be. F I'd... Wow. What a scene. What a scene. <laughs> That'd be so cute. Oh my god. Like, he doesn't like. I don't know. I would expect a house that size, and for him being that rich, they'd have like staff, like cleaners and stuff. Well, I mean, they have the little things that we saw in episode 9 that go around the house, but. 
Do you think Ali will find out about Luca knowing the identities? Hmm, maybe. I don't know. Don't you want to see the reveal before you die? I mean, yeah, I do, but I could die happily knowing that Gabriel, you know, makes breakfast in the morning for Natalie when she's really ill. Like, I'd be pretty chuffed with that. Like, I've written the reveal myself like 500 times, and whilst I'm excited to see the proper one, hi Lady Noir fan forever, <laughs> whilst I'm excited to see the proper one, I'm more excited about Gabe now. Trust. Do I think Ladybug will get what she lost in season 5? Yeah, I think she'll be fine. I think the only one that'll stay lost is the Butterfly Miraculous and they'll get that back at the end of the actual show. Like the whole show. End of season 7. I think it's gonna be fine. I'm not that worried about it. I'm more worried about Marinette and Adrian's mental health than then getting the Miraculouses back. Yeah. Any ideas yet for season five, yes or no? Yes, yes, and you will see my first season five theory video on Thursday. So I already made it this morning. I uploaded it this morning. I made it last night, uploaded it this morning. Um, screaming session for Monday. So that's Gang of Secrets and Furious Foo. I already put the poll up for Tuesday. I'm gonna start brainstorming season five theory ideas after the stream. And um, hopefully make that video on Monday ready for Thursday. Oh, bye, Ahmed. <laughs> um, ready for Thursday. Um, I already have the meme uploaded for Friday. And then Saturday I filmed that video. Um, so I need to edit that. And I'll probably start editing that tonight, actually. So, yeah. How long are you going to stay alive? I don't know. How long do you want, do you want me to stay alive for? <laughs> Probably half an hour more at most. I wouldn't expect more. What if Natalie dies in season five? I will cry, that's what will happen. How do you imagine growing up Adrian and Marinette? Like, with careers? I'm not sure Adrian would stay a model just because the modeling is under his father's brand, his father's name. And we know Gabriel's gonna be found out to be Hawkmoth. So, I'm not sure he'd want to and like I feel the brand would close um and I feel like he could model somewhere else if he wanted to but I'm not sure he would want to because it's like been tainted by his dad so I'm not sure what Adrian would do maybe he'd take up fencing or piano or mandarin instead he seems pretty good at all of those things but like he says in Wishmaker he just does those things because his dad wants him to not because he does necessarily just because he's good at something you know uh as for Marina, I definitely think she'll be a fashion designer instead um but i'm not sure about adrian but i feel like they're going to be great when they grow up i can't wait to see their outfits hey this isn't a question but i want to see you answer it anyway gabe nath i mean i don't know what it need to answer with it edward but the answer is yes the answer is always and the answer will always be always gabe nath is life <laughs> yes i can imagine adrian being a stay-at-home dad he'd be an amazing stay-at-home dad oh my gosh like I mean, honestly, I think Adrian would just be wonderful at anything he ever tries. <laughs> daddy Moth or Hawk Daddy? It's Hawk Daddy. Hawk Daddy, definitely. The guilt trip boiler room scene, yes! Such a good scene. Such a- oh, that reminded me of something. Let me just, um type that on my laptop. So I got my laptop in front of me so I can read the chat. I'm streaming on my phone but I can't see. And <laughs> hey, so I have a question about to Miraculous. Have you seen Turning Red? No, not yet. I will watch it eventually. It took me ages to watch Encanto. So <laughs> I will watch it eventually. I just haven't seen it yet. I haven't had time. I had a PhD supervision on Wednesday so I've been getting work done around that. Although because it's the Easter holidays are coming up, my next supervision isn't for a while. Maybe Adrian will become a baker or open a cheese shop. That's an interesting idea, actually, because I would feel most people would, like, pass their shop onto their children. Like, Tom and Sabine would pass it to Marinette, but she wants to be a fashion designer. Um, so maybe it could be cool if he passed it on to Adrian. However, he hasn't ever really shown much of an interest in making food. But that could be something still to be developed. Yeah. Am I into anime, Hayes? Um, I've seen some anime, not a loads. Uh, I've seen the first season of Attack on Titan, the first season of 
assassination classroom. I've also seen Yuri on Ice and Free with Toby Swim Club. I like the sports animes. The sports animes are fun, <laughs> but I haven't really seen much more than that. I don't think I've seen an episode here and there of other stuff, but not like like a full season. Yes, Ghost Force. I want to watch Ghost Force as well. I just haven't had a chance. Have I seen Encanto? And who, so, who's your favorite team, uh, character? Probably hmm, either Dolores or Antonio. They're really cute. <laughs> What is the worst ship in my opinion? Daria, do you mean like a cannon ship or like a fan ship? What about Jojo's Bizarre Adventure? No, I haven't seen it because I heard it was depressing. So I didn't want to watch it. Oh, any Daria. Um, worst cannon ship is definitely Adragami. Hate it. Um, worst fan ship? What's the worst ship I can possibly think of? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Chrissy Net. Chris and Marinette. Awful ship. I don't actually, I've never heard of anyone actually ships them apart from you, Edward. You weirdo. Gabrinette. Yeah, Gabrinette's pretty bad. I didn't really particularly think many people did ship Gabrinette, though. Yeah, Gabrinette is disgusting. <laughs> I didn't think anyone really shipped it. I've never seen any fan fictions of it. Yes, I want to watch Melody as well. I want to watch Melody and Ghost Force when I have the time. <laughs> Do I love Lady Noir? Of course, I love Lady Noir. Marry a Master Fu. Okay, that's pretty gross. Lazy! Hi, Lazy! Yeah, no one likes Chris. Thank you, Lazy, for validating me. Everyone in Discord is always like, why do you hate Chris? He's just a child. Yeah, and? I have three brothers. I am the only girl. I have three brothers and all three of them are like Chris. Why would I like Chris? I am related to three Chrises. I don't want another one. I hate him. <laughs> I don't think Manon's is bad. Manon's well tol tolerable. Yeah, tolerable than Chris. What if Chris is not annoying anymore? Well, from Time Tagger, he looks pretty annoying in the future, so. My love, Chris. Where's my Cat Noir pop thing? He's over here. My Cat Noir. My pollen. And they're black. You just, I should have put them up here, I guess. I'll put them in there now. Sorry, I forgot to. They were up this morning for filming. I forgot to put them back. They don't stay on here. They stay in front of my lipsticks and guard them. <laughs> Where do I see myself in 50 years? Hopefully not dead. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think like that. I'll be 75 in 50 years. So yeah. What time is it here? It's just about 4pm here. When are we getting My Lady Chapter 4? Hopefully soon because I, I don't know if you might not have been here early. I finished writing it. She's done, she's ready to go. Oh, I need to record her and do all the other stuff with her um, and wait for the art as well. But she's done, so hopefully in a few weeks. But I don't, I don't have an exact time, so yeah. What do I think about the show's mind that Gabriel is supposed to be the best designer when the clothes he wears and mixes somewhere are ugly? I don't know. His outfit, like his outfit alone isn't, isn't great, so. I don't know, Adrian's outfit's a bit better. Not my favourite, like it's okay, like he's a teenage boy, I don't mind it that much, but I'm like, eh, you know. Gabe Rath is the best ship after Lady Noir. <laughs> yes, Lazy, I finished chapter four. I've seen, well, my artist has sent me, um, she sent me the background and she sent me parts of the foreground. So I think she's almost done. Oh, you really like chapter three? Thank you. I think uh, if you like chapter three, you'll like this one. I made it very romantic, so. Or at least in my opinion, it's romantic. I don't know. My friend Luca, so my friend Luca, she's the account YouTube Distractions. She's not here right now, but um, she reads the chapter as I write it to offer suggestions and stuff like that. 
and she really enjoyed the chapter so yeah yeah I think I'll let the chapter two Edward so yeah oh hi dino nuggies you just woke up anyway do you think Adrian will become not blind in season five yes I think he will finally start to notice Marinette definitely where do I live I live in the north of England where it's cold except today where it's really warm I'm wearing a dress actually can you believe that it's March I'm wearing a dress you want to see sock plug? Okay. Let me stand up and get in. <laughs> Thank you, Edward. It's cold except when it's warm. Uh, well, it usually is in the north of England. Can I put him down now? Sock plug, he's here. What do I think of Marvel movies? I don't like them. He's fine. Where is Kit Kat? Do you want to see Kit Kat? She's outside, I think I'll get her. Do you think Tiki has a sock? Tiki somewhere? No. <laughs> I mean, does Marinette really need a sock form of the Kwamis when she has all of them? Oh, she doesn't have them anymore. Maybe she just needs sock forms. How tall are you? Um, I'm probably taller than you think. I'm five foot eight. Oh, I like the Spider-Man movies, just not the rest of them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Which Kwame is the most annoying? I don't know, I like all of them. Really? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I am a tall person, yes, you probably can't tell on videos because I'm usually sat down. And even if I am stood up, I never stood next to someone, it's just me. So you can never tell if I'm, I'm tall or not. So yeah. Who's my favourite Spider-Man? Uh, Peter Maguire. Peter- Tobey Maguire! <laughs> Peter Maguire! Tobey Maguire! <laughs> Peter Maguire. <laughs> I haven't seen the Tom Holland one. No, I don't hate the Spider-Man movies. <laughs> You're so short. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried about the Kwamis too. Like, maybe that's the reason Gabriel needs his kitchen, because he's got to feed all these Kwamis now. <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna do another Hunger Games video. I'm actually right now, right in the middle of studying the Hunger Games for my PhD. But yeah. Did you want to see Kit Kat, by the way? I didn't see anyone say yes. Does that mean you don't want to see Kit Kat? <laughs> do I know anything about India? I know a bit about India. Not a great deal, but I know some stuff. Have you seen Ant and Dex? <laughs> Takeaway. I don't really like Ant and Dope, but I know who they are. It's on all the time. So you want to see Kit Kat. Alright, Ahmed, Jamana, entertain everyone for a minute whilst I get Kit Kat. if you can hear a purring. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Edward. Yeah, Kit Kat recently. She hasn't been in my videos recently because she's just found somewhere else to sleep that she prefers. So, I'm not going to force her to sit on my bed. Am I? probably very confused right now. <laughs> you okay? I'm gonna put her back out because she looks tidy. She looks like the cat outside. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, she's sleeping like literally right outside my room I can hear her snoring I'll be sat here like I'm live streaming on my desk I'll be sat here doing work 
and she's outside and I can hear her snoring. <laughs> I don't apologize for being weird. I know you all love Kit Kat. So she's just, I'm not going to make her sleep on my bed during a video if she doesn't want to. So, and she hasn't wanted to recently. So I'm not going to make her, I, like, she wasn't in like the past few commentary videos just because she didn't want to be. So I didn't make her. So I'm not going to make her. Ahmed, you can hear the purring, could you? To be fair, purring is quite loud. <laughs> we all love Kit Kat. I think we all do love Kit Kat. <laughs> Yes, I do know about Ramadan. I used to be a note taker for disabled students at a university whilst I did my masters there. Um, and one of the students I had was Muslim. So whenever it was Ramadan, I wouldn't eat my lunch in front of him. Cause like usually we'd have lunch together as we were note taking, but when it was Ramadan, I was like, it's a bit unfair for me to sit here and eat lunch in front of you. Um, I guess he's probably used to it since like he was like, I don't know. 20 or whatever who's probably used to other people who weren't Muslim eating around him but yeah we need to get Ahmed some airpods probably <laughs> miraculously oh you're oh Joanna's just having a full-on conversation with lazy at now point just Joanna's now ignoring me how dare you Joanna <laughs> Rena Furtive or Rena Rouge? Rena Furtive, that costume. Everything. I love that outfit. I hope that in season five we have some Luke Wishmaker follow through. Yes, definitely. I really hope we will. Who is my favourite character of Miraculous? Um, Mark, obviously. Is that even, is that even a question? Mark is the best character. Always. Why wouldn't it be Mark? Mark is wonderful. Mark is fabulous. Mark is amazing. I just hope they get the rooster back as soon as possible so he can be in it more. Are you really just arguing about whether or not you could hear Kit Kat purring? <laughs> do I know how to crochet? No. <laughs> I do not. Adrianette or Luca Adrian? Adrianette, but I do think Luca and Adrian is really really cute actually. <laughs> I don't want them to get together because I want the love square to happen, but if Marinette didn't exist, go for it. Go for it. Do it. I'd be all for it. <laughs> yes, Mark is perfection. I think he's amazing. Which akumatization of Adrian do you like better? Cat Blank, definitely. The ephemeral outfit's okay, and the ephemeral in comparison to Cat Blank is kind of rubbish. Lazy said, wait, we need to know, is Aiden still in denial like the rest of you? Aiden is a senti monster, Miraculous Mexico confirmed it. I am slightly in denial. I just want, I want to wait until one of the characters says it, like Gabriel says, Adrian, you're a senti monster, you know what I mean? Like, I know she said, but I'm like, I need in-show confirmation. All this time I was like, I have all this evidence in front of me and it's very compelling evidence and I can't ignore it, but I don't want Adrian to be one. But I'm in denial. <laughs> Actually, Ahmed made, um, I never posted it because I, I've only spoken to Aiden like twice and he doesn't believe, and he doesn't really know me, but um, Ahmed, one of the mods, uh, made a meme for Cartoon Apocalypse about um the senti monster theory <laughs> it was really funny <laughs> i don't think i know i can't post pictures in here so i can't show you but it was great <laughs> hey is why are you so dense if sure senti monsters can live like normal humans well i am i just don't want him to be one i just don't want him to be one because i don't did you ahmed did you really always believe this theory because i don't feel like that's true Right now I'm just sad about the sending monster stuff. Like Adrian's gonna have a pretty hard time when he finds out. I feel like Marinette will be fine with it to be fair. She'll be like, oh, okay. I feel like it's gonna be Adrian who's more. Yeah, I'm a G being a senti monster. That adds up, that adds up. Hold on, wait. <laughs> 
Sorry, okay, I just lost the thread of the conversation there. <laughs> Do I know when season five will begin? Yeah, in July. Say French words. No, I don't want to. <laughs> season five is apparently meant to start in July. But probably won't. <laughs> Knowing this show and every how everything gets pushed back. I doubt it will start on time. Just because of the way the show is. Everything gets pushed back. Like what we saw what happened with Curry and Echo on Plus Plus. That was insane. Oh gosh. Your thoughts on Thomas leaning after season five? As in my thoughts on Thomas after season five? Uh, before season five? I am not his biggest fan. Never have been, to be honest. Why do you want me to speak French? I don't understand. I'm more invested in the conversation, the chat that Lazy and Germana are having. It sounds like they're having a great time. <laughs> do you want Faye to come in the actual series? Yes, that would be amazing. Although I think um, Faye is going to get her own spin-off show, which would be awesome. If I got the chance to become a miraculous character, which one would you want to be? Emily, because she does nothing and she's really important. <laughs> That's what I want to be. I want to do nothing but be important. I want to be Emily. Uh, Dino Nuggies, do you think Marinette will confess to Adrian in season five? Mm, I don't know, actually. I was about to say yes, but now I'm like... Why do you, yeah, why do you keep talking about Adrian? <laughs> um, but um, what was I going to say? I was going to say yes, that I think that she will tell him. But also I feel like she's not going to have time and she's also not going to be trusting Adrian because of what happened with Felix. So I wanted to but I feel like she might not. I don't know. <laughs> what do I think about Senti Adrian? Uh, sadness, that's what I think about Senti Adrian. It's uh, sad times. I'm just sad about it. Hey, I need to know, do you love Felix as a character? Like, what rating would you give him? I think he's a really well-written character. He's really complex, a lot of size to him, stuff like that. But do I like him? No, I mean, I like him, right? I really hated him in his first episode in Felix. I was like, no, you're horrible. Like, he tried to force and kiss a lady, but like, no, don't like that. It's like, really disliked him um but after daddy aggressed i was like well, i don't like you but i've seen a different side to you so i don't hate you and then in risk i was like okay you seem to be there for your cousin even though i feel like you have an ulterior motive then in strike back i was like no i dislike you whilst i understand his motive for doing it i was like mm, you're a bit horrible so i think he's well really well written though so that's uh, kind of why i like lila like when lila's in an episode which is kind of why i've missed her this season she always brings a lot to the table so i don't like her as a person if i knew someone like lila or felix in real life i would stay away from them both <laughs> however i feel like they bring a lot to the show so i like them in that aspect if that makes sense so i feel like they're both well written although i would like to know lila's motives for why she is the way she is because i have no idea um so they're well written, but I would say I'd hate Lila more than Felix. So. Well, that was a long answer. Sorry, Lacey. <laughs> Do you think the Corys will be able to tell Ladybug that Gabriel's Hulk was? No. If you remember in Samboy, Tiki can't even say Marinette's name in front of Plague. Like, she gets filled with bubbles and she can't say it. So they're not going to be able to tell Hulk Moth who she is. Or the same way, either way. So, I'm not worried about that. Honestly, I'm not worried about getting the Miraculouses back because I think they're going to be fine. I'm more worried about Marin and Adrian's mental health and their relationship moving forward. That's what I'm more worried about next season. Which seems a bit weird. But. <laughs> what would you do if Miraculous would be cancelled? Cry. 
and beg to find out what was planned. Like I get really annoyed when shows are like in the middle of it and then they get cancelled. And I'm like, well, what was going to happen next? I need to know what was the rest of the plot. Like one of my favourite shows was uh, the show called Scorpion. They got cancelled right in the middle of it. And I'm like, I need to know what happened next. So yeah. Felix said sorry. He's not evil. Right. He said sorry. Because he was saying sorry to the senti monsters. When I first watched it, I thought he was saying sorry to Ladybug, like, I'm sorry, but I've got to do this. I need to get the Peacock Miraculous to protect myself. But when you rewatch it, he's apologizing to the senti monsters. And whilst that's a nice thing, don't get me wrong, it's a lovely thing. He wasn't apologizing to Ladybug. He has absolutely zero remorse from what we've seen so far for doing that. So Yeah. I don't. I don't think he's pure evil, like Lila's pure evil, but yeah. Well, alright. <laughs> so Lazy's just said he was not saying sorry to the senses, no. But I feel like he was that well when I first watched the episode, like I watched it twice where I made my commentary video on it. I thought he was saying sorry for portraying Ladybug. However, everyone in the comments was saying he was saying sorry to the senti monsters. And when you rewatch the episode, the way that part is done. He says to Ladybug in quite a sad way, like, oh, what are you planning on doing with them? And she's like, I'm taking them to a place where they can never hurt anyone. And he looks so sad. Well, yeah, I don't think he wants the brooch for evil reasons. I don't feel like he's going to be making senti monsters to wreak havoc in London. I think that'll be fine. I just genuinely feel like he's going to keep the Peacock Miraculous to protect it and him and Deuce are going to have fun together. I don't feel like he's going to be like Gabriel at all. But... Ugh. He still betrayed Ladybug. I understand, like, this is why I feel like he's an anti-hero. I really like him because he's complex like that, but in terms of, like, is he my favourite character? No. Is he even in my top 20 favourite characters? No. <laughs> he's a really well-written character, and I can't wait to see him again in the show. But, like, if I never saw Felix again, I'd be fine. <laughs> you need time to reflect. Did you not discuss it? I haven't listened to the podcast yet for um, Strike Back. So I watched like I'm gonna watch it. I just haven't done it yet. I'm sorry. You want Ladybug to yeet Felix? Me too. I'd also hoped this was the first time I tweeted Thomas Astruck, and this was before I knew he blocked people, and he thankfully um, didn't block me because he probably would now. But I asked him at the end of uh, Heart Hunter why he didn't push Kagami into the sun when she tried to kiss him. I was like, why didn't Adrian push Kagami into the sun? How dare you? <laughs> that was the first tweet I sent Thomas Astruck. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's okay, Miraculous Crow, but you want me to apologize. Can I do a sewing slash craft video soon? Um, maybe. I don't know. Kagami is an icon, yeah, and I'd be fine if we never saw her in the show again. To be honest. <laughs> my hate for Kagami is legendary. Not as much as my hatred for Chris. <laughs> if Adrian had an older sister, how would you react? I doubt he has an older sister, so I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Is there any ship which doesn't exist but you want that ship there? You like Zoe and Luca and Faye and Felix? I'm not really sure I ship Felix with anyone right now. I don't ship him with Lila. Um, I really like Zoe and Luca, even though they've not spoken to each other yet. But <laughs> I like Lu uh, Luca and Zoe. But I also kind of like the idea of Luca and Chloe. Um, and I feel like if that happens, there could be some really cool sibling rivalry. Dino Nuggies, what year will season 5 air in July? It's meant to be this July, apparently. I thought it was meant to be like November. So, <laughs> show us how much I know. <laughs> yeah, it's not 100% confirmed it's for July. So, I mean, if you got to think about it, so we're meant to be getting the Brazil special early summer, like in May. And then, assuming the Awakening movie does get released in France or America, I think it's going to be in the summer. So it's going to be really fun. I said earlier in the stream, if you've only joined recently, that'd be really fun if I get to go to France. Like, I will take myself to France to go and see the film and I will vlog the full thing. So I love, it's been ages since I've been to France. I haven't been since before the pandemic. 
So I used to pretty much go every single summer. So a lot of you are from America, but it's really easy from England to travel to other European countries. It's really cheap to get to other European countries. So it would be of little cost. Do not worry. It's really cheap to get to France, to Spain, to the Czech Republic, to Switzerland, to Belgium, to Germany, to Portugal. So I will totally go to France just to go to the cinema. And I'll do some other stuff. I want to go to Sephora. We don't have Sephora in England. <sighs> I really want to go to Sephora. My, they sell my favourite moisturiser at Sephora. And for whatever reason, I don't know why, Sephora France doesn't let you order to the UK. I don't know. I don't know why. Who's my favourite character? Bestie, my favourite character is Mark. Here's the character to end our characters. Hey, so did you see Christina V visited New Mexico? That's where I live. Oh! I didn't know, I have no idea. <laughs> but it was really cool. Did you go and see it? That would have been awesome. Like, I doubt any of the voice. I'm really hoping, though, for the London special, they hire British people to do the British characters because. Look. No offense to Americans, but the vast majority of Americans cannot do British accents. So. I hope they hire British people <laughs> for the London special. So. <laughs> Do I think Marinette goes too far when she stalks Adrian? Yes. <laughs> I really don't like it. I really liked her this season because she was showing some growth and then they just threw all that growth out of the out of the window in Simple Man. Yeah, only British people can do British accents. There are very few Americans I've met <laughs> that do good British accents. Lazy, my British accent is good. I don't think I've ever heard you do British accents, so I couldn't say. Well, the problem is when people say, like, they say they like British accents, for example. There are so many different British accents. There are so many dialects. Like, I don't know if there are any other British Miraculous, at least that show their voice or whatever. But if there were, there, there'd be such a difference. Like, I'm from the north of England, but, like, this is, like, my normal voice. But I also have two voices that are in dialect where I sound a lot different. That usually come out when I'm, like, angry at something. So everyone sounds so different, so yeah. If you got the chance to meet Marinette, which question would you ask her first? Why are you stupid? That's what I'd ask her. Because <laughs> she is an idiot. The London special. I really can't wait for the London special. I'm assuming it's going to be like next year or whatever. You want me to do my dialects? I don't think I can. They usually come out when I'm angry. And I also don't think any of you would understand me. <laughs> Maybe some of the British people in the stream would. The Lobdon special, Hayes edition, yes. Well, when the London special comes out, I want to go to London and like walk around all the different places um, to use in the special. And I hope they get the geography of it better because for whatever reason the geography of Paris is all jacked up, I don't know why. It's not very accurate, but uh, yeah. Hey, is where I love chocolate. Uh, yes, I love chocolate. I have a drawer full of chocolate behind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a London special. I can't wait. The Lobdon special. The Lobdon special is gonna be something special. Lobdon. Love done. Honestly, Lazy, I didn't realise you've been in my Discord server enough to know about the love done typo. <laughs> it wasn't me who made it. Yeah, that's the problem, you're right, Edward. They're gonna want to get all the sites together. But I mean, Big Ben is next to Parliament, which is across the river from the London Eye. Uh, I mean, Tower Bridge is a lot further down the river, so maybe not. So, it would be I, kind of the video I had in mind was to force one of my friends and my family members to come with me. And like we film around London all the different locations and like walk between them the way they would have in the episode but they're probably gonna mash the whole city together so it's easier for them to get around so it's probably not gonna be that easy so yeah what is the link for my discord server Edward could you please put the link for the discord server in the chat please what is my favorite special and why the New York special definitely so far uh, just because of the love square, I think the Shanghai special is amazing, um, but there isn't um, much love square content in it, so I am a love square stan. So, 
not New York special, but I still think the Shanghai special is amazing. I just love, love Square content and the New York special is jam packed full of it. And I know before anyone asks, I am going to do a screaming session on the New York special. It's just going to take a bit of time because it's an hour long instead of 20 minutes. So it's going to take me a bit longer to dissect the whole special for a screaming session. So yeah. Miraculously Lazy is stalking Hayes. Well, it's better than other people stalking me. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I forgot to ask, did you all like my hair? I had a haircut. If you noticed and stroked back, it was a lot longer. Do you all like my hair? <laughs> lazy knows everything about me. Okay. To be fair, Lazy does. Me and Lazy chat quite a bit. Not in the, in the server, somewhere else. So, yeah. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> lazy stalking Giovanna now as well. Yeah, I went for, I decided, like, I needed to go for a haircut, but I didn't have any time. So I was like, the place where I go, they, like, give you a head massage before they do your hair. And then whilst they wait for the conditioner to soak in, they give you another head massage. So I was like, I need to relax after strike back. So I booked to get my hair done on, on Tuesday? I think, yeah, I think it was Tuesday. But yeah. What if I met Adrian, bestie? What would I say to Adrian? I would have an honest conversation. I'd be like, Adrian, sit down. We need to talk. I need you to tell me your true feelings about Marin. And I'd help him get to the root of it. I think Adrian's just general problems in life um, is due to um, him not understanding his feelings. So, yeah. Oh, you just joined the server. Hi, everyone. I will start. I need to get better at it. Start posting the link every so often, periodically. So you all know about it because the links expire, don't they? So I'll I'll do it. <laughs> what would you do if you woke up tomorrow morning and were Marinette? I would go back to sleep because I don't want to be Marinette. I'm already stressed enough what it is. I can't be Ladybug. No. No way. <laughs> oh god, I can't. Yes, the panic attack was so bad. I didn't even realise she was having a panic attack when I watched it in Portuguese. I only realised in English. I was like, oh, she's having a panic attack. <laughs> I just didn't register it in Portuguese. I don't know why. So, yeah. I have Marinette's hair. I mean, I don't have a full fringe. I only have little side fringes. I don't think I'd suit it if I put it into pigtails. Like this. <laughs> I don't think I'd suit it very much. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the panic attack was Adrian's fault. I just, I just feel so bad for Adrian and Marinette. So yeah, I'm just casually watching Lazy try to work out where Germana lives. This is great entertainment. <laughs> what miraculous would I prefer to have? Hmm, probably the peacock. Or the ladybug because they're creation this is why i don't like nathaniel's miraculous the goat miraculous because i'm like what's the point of it we already have two creation miraculous we don't need another one i'm like what's the point of nathaniel's you can't even make it magic so yeah i don't really get the point of it my favorite ship is probably adrian i'd say what would I do if I was Mark for the day? Cry out of sheer happiness. <laughs> yes, I hope we get to see it. Oh, it's Zach's birthday on the 24th. I did not know, I mean, to be fair, why would I know when Jeremy Zach's birthday is? I barely remember my own mum's birthday. Do you live in the UK with Hayes? That makes it seem as if Germana lives with me. <laughs> but, um... That would be um, good if it is on his birthday. That would make sense. I had noticed his birthday in about, what, five days? Sunday, Monday. 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Like on Thursday? On Wednesday? Right. Everyone, stop telling Lazy what country you live in. Don't put my country of your address in the chat. Internet safety. 
What would I do if I was Gabriel for a day? Burn all of his clothes, including the ones he was wearing, and wander around in a towel. It's because he needs some new clothes. Desperately. When is my birthday? My birthday's on the 27th of August. You all better remember. We'll probably do a live stream for my birthday. I made a video last year on my birthday and I was like, you know what, I want to chill on my birthday. Let's just do a live stream and stuff. <laughs> what would you do if I got the chance to speak with Felix? Slap him. I'm not going to slap him. <laughs> Don't slap people. <laughs> do I have any ideas for season five? I have plenty of ideas. First season five theory video will be on Thursday. I just don't see the point of talking loads about the ideas when I'm going to make videos on them all, so I don't know. Yeah, I kind of, well, I don't dislike Suhan that much, but he's really useless. Like, in Ephemeral, like, he was like, Ladybug, can you tell me Catalan's birthday? Sorry, it was Catalan's birthday. <laughs> I can't was identity, sorry, I saw birthday on the screen about Jeremy and I just said it. <laughs> can't was identity and she was like sure and then she ended up not doing it and he was like why and she was like because I don't want to and he was like oh okay that's fine then. What's the point of his character? He's pointless at the minute. I am assuming he's gonna have a bigger role to play this next season but right now I'm like well what what was, what was the point of that? <clears throat> What if you made a sock puppet of Mark? <laughs> okay, maybe lazy. <laughs> Why don't you make some sock puppets on your channel, lazy? <laughs> yeah, it's me to smack some sense into Felix, but genuinely don't smack people. If you want to slap Lila, yeah, I'd be more likely to slap Lila. Definitely, advocate for that. So you, you actually want me to make a sock puppet of Mark? All right, I'll think about it. It'll be made with hot glue. I'm not sewing it. Forget sewing. Well, I can't sew either. I don't sew them. I made sock plug with hot glue. I didn't sew this. <laughs> He's stuck on with glue. <laughs> like I can sew a bit, but I'd ruin it. So just to get a hot glue gun, lazy. Just get hot glue. How do you make a sock human? Look, I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll think. I'll, I always figure it out. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, hot glue is always fine. You'll be fine with hot glue. I do have a couple of other crafting video ideas. Um, most of them will be done with hot glue. <laughs> right, okay, besties. I think we're going to start wrapping the live stream up now because you all seem pretty much fine after strike back i thought you'd be more devastated but you all seem oh okay now lazy and jamana are starting a business together all right <laughs> okay <laughs> of all the things i expected to happen in this live stream um this was not one of them <laughs> okay Anyway, are you all feeling okay after the events of Strike Back? Because you all seem fine to me. You all seem to have a good laugh in the stream. Yes, we are gonna do a Puppeteer 2 screaming session. I'm gonna save it for Halloween because it horrifies me, so. Yeah, well, I guess no, I can't see your faces. I don't know if you actually are panicking, but you all seem fine. Most of the panic seems to be in the first couple of days after the episode, but it's been a week. It feels like it's been longer than a week though. Hmm. Please, another hour of the live stream? My throat will die. Oh my god, I cannot do another hour. I'm sorry, bestie. We will definitely do another live stream. This won't be the last one, but it might be the last one for a while. Just because we've got no new episodes coming out. So. You know, we don't have much to discuss. But I always reply to the comments and if you need something, you can message me on Instagram, you can message me on Twitter, you can message me on Discord, you can email me. If you need something, you can- Another hour? I'm like, I can't go for another hour. 
there is no way my throat will survive another hour of a live stream. <laughs> Do you think Ladybug deserves hate after the events of season four? No. I feel like people are looking for any excuse to hate her. I don't hate Marina. I just want to hug her. She needs a hug. She's a hug and she needs some help. I don't hate her, please. She doesn't do anything wrong, but I feel like people will use it as an excuse to dislike her. I mean, it's fine, but yeah, I don't know. Well, you said the reveal happens right in the middle of season five. Like, maybe it could because they always say it's going to be unexpected. I guess everyone's expecting it to happen um, at the end, which would make sense because they always told us they can't know until Shadow Daddy's defeated. So, okay, but yeah. Jemana, are you really picking up on lazy spelling mistakes in the stream chat? <laughs> Jemana, this is your business partner. Don't be so rude to your business partner. <laughs> I doubt Suhan's going to give Marinette another miracle box after what she did with this one. He is not going to let Aram another one. No way. No way at all. Yeah, I think she'll tell him about Cat Blank, definitely. Yeah, people do look for excuses to hate anything about Miraculous. I want to do, I'm in the middle of rewatching the season because I want to do a couple of videos about the season after it. And I want to do a big video that's like a commentary of it as a whole, like the season as a whole, you know? And there are definitely all faults with the season. And there are some episodes that are objectively not as good as other ones. Uh, for example, Corineco, for example, Simpleman, stuff like that. Um. But yeah, lazy, Jemana's bullying you, your business partner. Jemana, how dare you? This is lazy, be nice to her, she's lovely. <laughs> what are my top five favorite episodes of season four? Mm, Risk and Strike Back are definitely up there. So is Senti Bubbler. That's a really well written episode. Uh, Psycho Medium, actually. Uh, that's a really good episode. Um, hmm. I quite like Darius Family and Glaciers too as well. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a ranking video. Okay, I'm gonna do a ranking video. I haven't. That's why I'm rewatching the season because I want to do some videos on it. So yeah. Yeah, I do feel like the show overall is great, but there are definitely problems with it. Like, don't get me wrong. But people will always find excuses to hate it. And I feel like a lot of people blow it out of proportion, though, you know what I mean? They're just like, oh, it's rubbish for all these reasons that are really not there. Like, I have a lot of stuff to say about Zoe because I feel like people just hate on her for literally no reason. So, worry not. Just wait for the video. A couple of weeks. Don't worry. I think the ranking video is not going to be next Saturday, but the Saturday afterwards. So, don't worry. Oh, thank you, Bestie, for saying thank you for 17,000 subscribers. Yeah, second medium was really good. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yes, cat noir unifications. Yeah, Zoe doesn't deserve hate. I'm going to go into it more in that video I'm going to make. But I don't think she deserves any of the hate she got, really. A lot of people keep saying she's a really two-dimensional character. But Zoe is on the same level as Milen and Ivan and Max, who don't have a lot of screen time. But I've never heard anyone complaining that they're underdeveloped either in 2D. So yeah. When is the next live stream? Um, I don't know because there's nothing new coming out. So I don't know if we're going to do one for a while. We'll probably do one before the next season starts and we have like the first trailer for whatever episode we're going to see first. But yeah. So with that being said, I think we're going to draw this to a close, besties. Is that okay with everyone? <laughs> My voice is starting to hurt now. I've been talking non-stop for an hour and a half. That's the problem with live streams. It is just me sat here talking to myself. <laughs> so my voice starts to hurt. Oh, I'm sorry, Lazy. <laughs> Lazy, if you want, you can call me on Discord. <laughs> what I'd really love to do is like play Among Us with a load of you. That would be fun and we could call in Discord to do the interrogation parts or something. That would be really fun or something. But yeah, my voice is dying. So I think I'm gonna go besties. We definitely will do another live 
but I just I don't know when it will be. I like doing them. I like doing them, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So it was really nice to speak with all of you. Oh, my face is starting to hurt from talking as well. Yeah, I'm gonna need. This is empty. I drank all of it. I'm gonna need more. So yeah, um, I will see you all soon. Uh, screaming session on Monday. Season 5 theory on Thursday and then you'll see my face in this outfit actually because I filmed it before this um, on Saturday for a video and yeah that's all I have to say uh, bye besties <laughs>